Back inside, Victoria wants to implement new ground rules in the bedroom. From now on, when you are on this bed, no dogs, nothing, at any time, ever. Okay. <laughs> How's that? It's good. I like is it, it. Is that really? A, is that a permanent thing, though? It's a permanent thing, I'm telling you. I like permanent, the new permanent? sheriff. No, I'm telling town. you, it's permanent. They've been in that bed for nine and six years, respectively, and it just kills me when I see them that they want to get in, and I have to say no. So what I teach the dogs, I teach them to get off on a command. Victoria will work with each dog separately, but due to his arthritis, Judge will sit this one out. I'm going to train Lucas now to get off the bed. OK. OK? I want these dogs to love getting off this bed yeah. more than they like getting, getting on, on it. it. Right. Hey, come on. Oh, what a good boy. Off. Very good boy. Good boy, Lucas. <laughs> what a good boy. Simple as that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. OK? And it keeps you safe. Mastiffs are so big, they're so heavy, there's so much stress on the joints already that I don't want to go too far with this training. But before Lucas gets a break, it's time for Chad to try. Lucas off. Good boy. Now, lots of cuddles Good and attention. Good boy, Lucas. Beautiful. Good doggy. Now, Victoria wants to try the same process with Roman. All right, so now he's got on by himself, OK? Same thing, just tell him to get off. Roman, off. Good boy. Good boy, Do you like Roman. I don't keep on telling him off, off, off. He like was like, oh, I don't know, what do you want me to do? I just ought to stay there. Stay pointing. Okay. You don't want the dog to think that a command or a cue is a repeated word. You want the dog to take action as soon as you say something. Then it's Melissa's turn. Off. Roman. Just point and look where you're pointing and say nothing. Now, wait. Wait, and don't look at him. Okay. Roman took a little bit longer to get off for me. I do think that it will be a battle between us. So, now because he's whining, I don't want him to get anxious. Get down on the ground. Okay. There you come. Okay? Get down on the ground. There you go. Okay. And show him that you've got the food in your hand. There. Good. Good boy. Good. He was confused. Your energy and your movement can help propel the dog. Okay. I think Chad is going to struggle very much with not having the dogs in the bed. Can he manage it? I don't think so. While Chad tries to live up to the challenge, Victoria has a clever tool to help clean up the mess the dogs have left on the bed. It's a pledge fabric sweeper. And what you do is just by little strokes like that, you sweep the pet hair off. And all the pet hair in the end gets contained in oh, here, wow. and then you just chuck it away. Huh. So try it out. Amazing. Good. That's look, another, at that. look at that. That's beautiful. That's amazing. It's, that's much better, it's much in, better in two better. or three minutes. That is disgusting. It is disgusting. It, it is. is.